Okay, well, I was thinking last night that to get the spray foam between my foam board and the joist is going to be a little tight. So, I mean, this is a straw you get with a normal spray foam um, bottle. But then I'm thinking maybe I could get something that shrinks down a little more, could get through the gaps a little better. So I tried this and tested it. And this little straw from the old can of lubricant here um, fits perfectly in there, nice and snug. So I'm gonna try to spray foam through this straw and in between my foam board and my joists and see if that works. Uh, in theory, it looks like it might. So we'll see what it does later when I try it. All right. If it doesn't work, you'll probably never see this video. Making kind of a mess now, but not sure it's working. Uh, I can get down there, but my consistency of my spray foam is a little off. I can see that it's darker in some areas, so I don't know. I think I might push my foam down a little bit and just try the regular tip and see um, how that goes. Darn. All right, well, as you can see, um, I got a few sections done there. Not exactly how I wanted things to go this morning, but you live and learn. Um, I think I'm going to have to do some trimming when that expands as it dries. Uh, we'll see how much. Um, but if I was to do it again, I think I'd leave probably <coughs> a gap, a tiny gap between all my joists so I could fit my straw in and then just spray foam as I go, like... To fill that whole void so here i'm only filling like the top crack um and then i'm leaving a little space because i push those push the foam down a little bit into the joist so i hopefully won't have to do as much trimming but it's going to leave a little bit of gap between my my subfloor and my uh foam board hopefully so that's not an issue with i don't know insects or mice getting in there but um hopefully it seals up pretty good and nothing can get in there um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to try it with, when I fill these spaces in, in the right here um, by my blocks and logs. I'm going to try to just leave a little gap as I go in there and then spray foam around it so I could get like a two inch seal instead of just the surface seal that I have here. Um, but you live and learn. So that's how I do it next time. Uh, I'll finish this later. I ran out. That was one can of uh, the, the spray foam there for the... Um, the DIY spray foam, not the spray foam gun or anything like that. So it doesn't go very far. Um, but I have another can down at the house and it's supposed to rain. So I'll cover this back up here in a second. And then, uh, cause I don't want it just sopping wet when I come back up.
right, well, there we go. Cabin's feeling warmer already. Um, got some edges to fill up and see how much this expands and then I'll come by and trim it and then darn near ready for plywood. Well, here you go. I uh, checked the weather, it says rain. So I cover everything up, check the weather again, it says no rain. So I finished my project, but just in time, because now we have rain. Shocker. Um, so I got most of that foam done. I got I'm one can short. I got to run to the hardware store, get a little more spray foam, <coughs> uh, clean up everything, and then I'm ready to put the floor down. So pretty cool. All right, hopefully this rain stops on and off. All right, so to cut my excess foam, I just take my saw uh, just like that. Run it right down. 